A boy is robbed after school. It turns out the bandit was after his shoes. Fox News' Ron Savage picks up the story in Northwest Detroit. The afternoon bell rang at Cody High. 14-year-old freshman Gerald Smith hopped the bus to go home and got off here at Plymouth Road in Mendota. After getting off the bus, a guy on a bike pedaled up to Gerald. And he asked me, did I rob his cousin? And I said, no. I don't even know who your cousin is, and plus, I don't, I wasn't robbing anyone in a day of my life. Gerald was hoping to make it home, but he says he saw a gun under the guy's shirt and then a demand. He looked at my shoes, and he said, take one off, let me see it. And I, so I took it off, and he was like, don't run or I'm going to shoot you. So I took the other one off, and as he was holding it in his hand, he um, pulled off on his bike. My son came to the door crying. And the first thing came to my mind was to look for bullet holes, swellings. I couldn't, I couldn't think no more. I didn't know what to do because I didn't know what had happened. Then mom noticed her son was not wounded and was in his stocking feet. I really don't care about the shoes, but I am glad that my son is alive. The shoes were in NBA style. Some pink Penny Hardaways, a size 11. Are they high top? They high top. And they weren't even his size. He wore, the man wore 13. He told my son, he said, dang, they not even my size. Well, why would you take them? His mom said she's on a very tight, limited income and went to Goodwill for a replacement pair of shoes, but there was nothing in Gerald's size. It's a shame that you would take a child childhood. Go work for what you want, you know? <laughs> He's only got one pair of shoes. He only had he only had one pair of shoes. I felt bad for the young man. I picked up a pair of new shoes and Gerald said they're a good fit. They're not pink penny hardaways, but Gerald said he likes them. Not only did he take my son's shoes, but thanks for taking my son's childhood cuz now he feel like he can't go outside or really do anything because he's scared. The family says police made a report. If you have information, call Detroit Police. Ron Savage, Fox 2 News.